Why were the Nazis obsessed with twins? Twins were one of the utmost fascination of the Nazis of the medical field. Joseph Mengel, a physician in Nazi Germany, used the Holocaust as an excuse to carry out any and all experiments without needing official approval. This led to at least 3,000 children in Auschwitz being subjected to degrading disfigurements, torture and disease under a veil of medical research into illness and endurance. If you were found to be a twin, you would be separated during a massive selection process at the train station platform. Your next stop would be a laboratory to be examined. Mengel's obsession with twins was that he could use one as a control study while subjecting the other twin to barbaric experiments such as blood transfusions, forced insemination, injections with diseases, amputations and murder. He would then compare the results with each other. The twins were not protected, even in death, and their bodies were dissected and studied. And once the experiments were over, as one of the twins had been killed, the surviving twin would be surplus to the requirements and so would be murdered shortly afterwards. Mengel and other physicians used twin experiments to encourage selective breeding, to stop criminality and poverty. They believed that genetics were responsible for undesirable characteristics. Twin scientific research was not a new phenomenon when it started at Auschwitz in 1940, but the prior research had pointed towards environment being the most important factor in behaviour. But eugenic researchers were biased in their studies and wished to gain evidence that genetics were more important than environment. This would then be used to encourage selective breeding to improve the German race and rid the world of undesirables. One way to stop desirables being part of a society was to sterilise those that would taint an Aryan race and who were deemed to be inferior. And this was done on a mass scale. Ottmar von Verschua was a mentor of Joseph Mengel and he studied a large number of twins to see if disease and behaviours could be inherited. Mengel took his mentor's beliefs and ran with them, coupled with being passionately racist made his work dangerous and terrifying for the Jews of Auschwitz. He joined the Nazi party and became a medical officer at Auschwitz in 1943, which is where his evil would intensify. The camp that Mengel oversaw was murdered in the gas chambers, leaving him without one, so he was promoted to chief camp physician and given access to a new camp. This camp was known for being brutal in its selection of prisoners and a number of people gassed in the chambers. He had gained access to a large number of people that he did not need permission from or have any morality towards. His earlier experiments followed a legitimate process with levels of bureaucracy followed, but his newer experiments did not. He began his long, painful and devastating experiments on at least 1,500 sets of twins, of which many were children. Although the twins were not subject to the same tortures of hard labour at the camp and they were protected from the gas chambers, they were given special privileges in the form of extra food in a camp where the inmates were dying of starvation. Although they were less exposed to the downfalls of barbaric camp life, they were subjected to savage, inhumane mutilations at the hands of an ill-tempered and cruel Nazi who gained the nickname the Angel of Death. Mengel assembled hundreds of pairs of twins and sometimes spent hours measuring various parts of their bodies and taking careful notes. He often injected one twin with mysterious substances and monitored the illness that ensued. He applied painful clamps to children's limbs to induce gangrene, injected dye into their eyes and then shipped them back to pathology lab in Germany. He also gave them spinal taps. When the test subject died, the child's twin would be immediately killed with an injection of chloroform to the heart and both would be dissected for comparison. On one occasion, Joseph Mengel killed 14 pairs of twins this way and spent a sleepless night performing autopsies on his victims. One of the surviving twins, Eva, remembers sitting for hours naked and having her body repeatedly compared to her sister's. She had severe reactions to being injected continuously 
with unknown substances. She noted that she knew they were unique, but that she did not know until afterwards that she had been subject to genetic experiments. The twins were used to argue nature over nurture, and a mass genocide was conducted based on eugenic principles that genetics could create a desirable race. At the end of the war, the experiments were abandoned and Mengel managed to escape justice as a war criminal. He was shielded by Nazi sympathisers and he fled to South Africa until his death in Brazil in 1979. In 1946, a group of German physicians who had carried out euthanasia and conducted medical experimentation in Nazi death camps were tried at the Nuremberg during a 140-day-long trial and the trial resulted in seven death sentences and the Nuremberg Code, a set of research ethics that has influenced modern concept of informed consent and medical experimentation. Only 200 of the 3,000 twins subjected to medical experiments at Auschwitz survived. Among them were Eva and Miriam, and in the 1970s, Eva Moses Call began lecturing about her experiences and seeking out other survivors. Eventually, she and Miriam formed a non-profit called Children of Auschwitz Nazi Deadly Lab Experiment Survivors and tracked down more than 100 other twin survivors, documenting their experiences and the health ramifications of the often unknown experiments they had been subjected to at Auschwitz. Today, the concept of twin studies has been challenged by research that demonstrates genetic variations exist among identical twins. But twin studies are still used to learn more about age-related disease, eating disorders, sexual orientation and more. Though twins remain invaluable to researchers today, twin studies are still a subject of debate due to the morality of them. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories. And leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them.